Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here with Arceus Video Manuals. I want to show you guys a really cool feature that Grand VJ has. Now right now I'm using my Sideline Sync, which is a USB powered monitor, but this trick works with any one of them. The reason I use this monitor is because this will allow me to do this without eating one of the heads of my laptop or computer, whatever it may be. If you're interested in learning about the Sync, all you have to do is go to my YouTube channel and search Sync or Google Arnaldo Offerman, Sync, C-I-N-Q, Review, and you're going to see it there. Uh, but, check this out. So let's say we got our setup here, right? And of course, we have our effects tab, mixing, etc., position, size. And I've mentioned this before, but you can actually move things around like you would like. So let's say I'm going to move this my matrix down a little bit. I'm going to move my position over here. So I'm gonna, literally going to grab it. There it is right there. And then I have my mixing tab. I'm going to move it down here. And my visual tab will leave there. So let's say I'm going to move here and I'm going to move my position down here. And there's really not a lot of room. However, I can go into my options and I'm going to extract matrix. Now matrix is this guy right here. We're going to extract it. Bam. Check it out. And now I'm going to move this over to my sync and we're gonna just move this over here and then I'm gonna position these up and now of course I can see everything that I need and I have this let's go ahead and take it one step further now the reason that I mentioned a sync is because it uses a technology called display link display link converts USB out to work as a, almost like a VGA output, right? If you get a USB to VGA, it uses a Display Link driver. But Display Link also works for wireless transmission. Now, there's a lot of popular iPad and iPhone apps that allow you to use your iPad or Android, if you're one of the unlucky ones, as a secondary display. Now, right now, I'm going to try Splash Top 2. And what it's going to do is it's going to, there's a little app that I'm going to download that will connect my iPad into this. And it's going to run the iPad as a second display. Now, there's a whole bunch of different programs out there that allow you to do this both for Windows and Mac. Um, don't ask me which one I use because there's tons of them. Uh, there's Wii Display. There is, oh goodness, hold on here. Let's look here. Uh, there was one I had a while back, years ago, and I don't think it's even there anymore. But there's Air Display. Air Display is one of the more popular ones. Some of them run on Display Link, some of them don't. There's also one called Tumon or USB Tumon or something like that and it actually connects via USB versus wireless and it uses a display link driver so that means there's no lag. I haven't bought that one yet but that one looks really promising. There's also Splash Top and I tried that one and it would not connect so pfft, screw that one. Uh, there's iDisplay so again there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's a couple of free versions so feel free to you know check around and look see what works best okay, for so you. So we have everything here and I've moved the matrix over to the iPad but why the iPad versus a USB screen because now I can tap it and select so there it is right there now this is a free program so it's not the greatest thing as far as latency see right there I mean it didn't exactly grab that so let me try that one more time There it goes. I guess I forgot to, I gotta close this down here. Let me move this layer down. So we're gonna bring this up. Bring that down. There it is right there. I'm now gonna select this one. There it is. So I guess with this guy here, I gotta move, whoops, and select. So I gotta tap it once to get it in there and another one to select. Obviously different display apps are gonna do a much better job with the display thing. Again, don't go for the 99 cent app. A good display program is gonna run you anywhere from 10 to $20. But if not, again, you also have the sync. Now, of course this also works and I think it works better in synth mode. So let's go to move this guy to synth mode and we're going to extract our matrix. 
So there it is right there. And of course, you know, we can adjust things as we need to. So I can take the effect and let's move that out there. We'll take our transition. There it is there. Mixing. Let's move it over here. Position size. Oh, for some reason it won't even go in there. I'm actually going to lock the position size with the transition. Actually, I guess we can put them all in, in there. And of course you can lock it if you need to. Or not lock it, dock it if you need to. So there we have that. And now I can just go over here and select. Again, I'm going to click this. This actually seems to work much better in synth mode than mixer mode. You'll see here that I'm just clicking and it'll automatically appear there. And again, just straight off the bat, this Wii display, WI display, not the best when it comes to touch. It seems that it's slightly off there. Like I'm trying to click that and clicks the other one instead. Now it clicks it. But it seems the mouse is about a quarter inch from your fingers. Once you get used to it, it's actually fairly easy. Just find a good app. And of course, that's where you have to research the reviews. Check it out on YouTube. But hopefully that helps you guys out. It's really cool. Definitely a unique way of doing things. And hope that helps. Again, my name is Arnaldo Offerman with RKS Video Manuals. Thanks so much and God bless.